morning kids I hope you're all doing well um, I know it's weird but anyways this is gonna be our first I guess real lesson you could call it uh, so um, thank y'all for all of you that filled out that survey I appreciate it if you didn't do it you should do it it's in the Google classroom folder thing um, if you're having trouble accessing stuff just email me or I don't know. It's hu thompson at dallasisd.org. Um, anyways, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, I'm doing fine. My wife's doing fine. Um, at first, this was frustrating, but I'm starting to starting to kind of enjoy life at home. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah. So the first lesson we're gonna do. I basically want you to copy a painting using like a digital tool. So you could use Microsoft Paint. I know you have um, Chromebooks, some of you, and I think it either comes with, or I know you can download a program called Paint Z. It's like Paint Z. Um, there's also tons of stuff that you already have. There's like PixArt, because um, you know, I read, I read y'all's things. What else? Uh, there's Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R, which is like an online editing thing, so you can do it through there. Um, there's tons of resources. I'll put a thing up with a bunch of them so you can look. But um, this is what we're doing. Uh, so, yeah, so, let me see. Okay, there's the original painting. It's by Albert Olin. Um, I'm going to put some links to his work because I think that using non-objective abstract painting would be easier for this. Um, also, I want you to learn how to do a whole bunch of different techniques using whatever you're using and he uses a whole bunch of different kind of textures and styles there's like you know so sorts of crazy lines there's smearing there's texture pattern there's you know lots of different variety i guess that's what i'm going for here and so here's my microsoft paint creation of it because you know it's all right it's not not the best but um just trying to get used to how to use the software i use microsoft paint so i use like the most ghetto program that there is for this and it was a lot of fun um yeah i guess that's it for now i'll kind of i recorded me making it and i'll do a little bit of voice on it maybe or i'm not sure anyways uh y'all have a good day this is due like like friday so that would be let me look at my calendar um, you're supposed to spend 90 minutes a week on everything, so spend 90 minutes on it. Um, it's due the 3rd of April. <laughs> it's crazy. But, uh, love you guys. Hope you're doing well. And have some fun. Have some fun. Have some fun. I'm gonna walk y'all through this video if I can find it. If I can find it. Hold on. Where'd it go? Uh, there it is. Alright. Okay, so here it is. Um, basically, I didn't really know where to start, which is a good place to be, because I'm cool with that. Um, I'm using Microsoft Paint, because, you know, it comes on, like, every computer, unless you have a Mac. Um, and Chromebooks, I think, they have Paint Z, or at least you can download it, Paint Z. I don't know why I keep over-pronouncing it. <clears throat> um, anyways, I'm just kind of, like opened up this Albert Olin painting because it's got a lot of variety. There's lots of different mark making. Um, there's all sorts of cool stuff going on in it. And I'm just trying to recreate it as best I can. I'm going to speed this video up quite a bit here. Let me see if I know how to do that. I don't. Um, man, come on, dog. Hold on. Uh, well... Alright, I'm just going to kind of skip through it, I suppose. So, yeah, I'm just, I mean, it's not really...